Thank you for tuning in. Time to fish with JC. I'm sure you guys know what this little simulation is right here. It's spawning season, guys. It's March. The fish are on beds already. Yes, most of them are still pre-spawning, but a lot of the big females, they come in and spawn first. And this is a simulation of a big female. So, meet Rosie, guys. We're going to use her for a simulation today. This is the little... This is supposed to be a stick that a fish would use to put on their bed. A lot of times largemouth like to use little twigs, weird things to put their eggs on. These little nuggets right here are the eggs, okay? So when they lay their eggs, they get really territorial. So this is more for beginners and advanced alike. So if you guys are advanced too, stay tuned. You guys might like this. You guys might get some information out of it or get a kick out of it. Who knows? So uh, you guys, uh, the fish like to spot around 63 degree of water. 63 degree water is perfect. That's prime. 60 degrees, the big females will start to come in and look around for beds. When they do the bed fishing, or when they do the when they make their beds, they find a spot that's like got some gravel on it, and they fan it out with their tail, and they make it look all nice and pretty, and they lay their eggs. Okay, and then they get very territorial off them. You don't ever want to cast right past the fish, too. Okay, you want to cast past the fish and bring it in close and slow. Okay, and once you get close to the bed. If they don't eat it before you get to the bed, usually you can find their sweet spot. That would be the eggs. Okay? If not the eggs, then there'll still be a spot that she plans on laying the eggs. And then you just keep that there. The reason why I like a drop shot is because I keep the weight there and move that bait and shake it. You can even let that bait fall and just let it sit there on the bed. That will irritate her. Okay? Now, eventually if you make so many casts and that fish does not bite, you could always take your weight. You could irritate the fish with it. Go like that. Just hit her in the tail, hit her in the head. But do not hook the fish, okay, out on the outside. You, that fish has to eat the bait for it to be legit, all right? That's how they do it. That's the rules of the tournaments. That's just how it is. Especially if you're sight fishing, that fish has to be hooked inside the mouth and out. So if the fish is hooked on the outside of the mouth like that, it doesn't work. It has to be inside. So uh, remember that. But the, that, that hit them trick only works if the fish stays on the bed. If you're sight fishing that fish is going way off and it's spooked, it's not going to work. That fish has to be locked onto that bed. But sometimes when they're locked out of that bed, they just won't eat. So if you do that trick, it works. Trust me. I used to, I used to do it a lot of times growing up over the years in tournaments and stuff. It worked really good when I used to fish competitions and I win money in the springtime doing that. So uh, there's a lot of good baits out there to use during the spring. I stick with the drop shot. I just use a lower tag line. I talk about that in my drop shot videos, my how tos on how to drop shot. I talk about how to tie a palomar knot because a palomar knot is very necessary for a, a drop shot because you have to be able to run your tagline back through. Anyway, if you want to get familiar with the drop shot, check out that video. Uh, other good baits are Ned Rigs. This is a Ned Rig right here. And you just take it and you bounce it on the bed. And the Ned Rig works really good for pre-spawn fish too, so if you're not fishing for beds, you can still use it around other spots where you can bass are hanging around at, especially like secondary points, uh, coves, going in, go, coves that go into the secondary coves before you get into the backs. Those kinds of things are going to hold bass right now, especially those secondary points. You guys key in on those. Around like 20, 25 feet of water out here in the desert lakes works really good. Those, that's where you're going to be a lot, a lot of the fish are out be staging before they spawn. So uh, I hope these tips really help you guys. Uh, please tune in to Time to Fish with JC. Please like, share, subscribe. You guys, I got a lot of good footage I'm going to share with you guys this year. It's going to be fun. All right. I got a lot of good fishing coming up, a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff planned out. So uh, hopefully this Friday. I have some great fishing in too, so go with some mouth fishing this week, I hope, and it's going to be really good. You guys tune in. Take care.